Kara Spelger is here now with a look at an honor for vets closer to home. And Kara, this is something that has been a long time coming. That's right, Mary Alice. Actually, from the time this was announced up until now, it's been about a year in the making, and this is the first and only monument of its kind specifically dedicated to African American veterans and their service. And the crowd there today was filled with veterans, some going as back as far back as World War II, and that includes Edward Clemens. We recently interviewed him. He's 102 years old, and a lot of the people I spoke with at the groundbreaking say they're happy there's finally a monument recognized recognizing their service and that of their family members. And they're also glad to have the monument right here in Buffalo. I'm going to see it. I'm going to bring my children. I'm going to bring my grandchildren to it. But I hope that they just leave with a sense of responsibility and a sense of respect for the black countrymen that came before them. Now, the monument design includes a pillar for every American involved conflict with a beacon of light at the top to represent the lanterns families used to light in place of their windows to guide their soldiers home. Now, the construction of the monument is scheduled to begin in the spring of next year. It's really excited. You know, it's, it's an, uh, an addition to our waterfront. I think that everyone can really be thrilled yeah. about. I mean, it's just another fine way to recognize our service members who gave so much. Absolutely. Yes. Great. Beautiful. Thank you, Karis. Appreciate it, Karis. And